Hello, hello, hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just on a bizarre side note, I guess uh, happy birthday to the birth of the iPod. It was 30 years ago today. I mean, I just now heard this on the radio, so I might be, you know, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I heard that it's 1994 today is when the iPod was released. Congratulations. $400 billion later, look what you've done. All right, let's get to work. I got people to see. <laughs> Hey there, little vicious one. What, uh, what's your pus name? Little man. I'm sorry? Little man. Little man. Well, we call him little man and we call him pink tick. So. He's pretty. His name's little man, but we call him pink tick that time. Thank you. Right. Yeah, I like his harness. Thank you. That's pretty cool. He does too. You take it off of him, he feels like he's lost. Yeah. I take my dog collar off and he follows me around until I put it back on. <laughs> you know, it's like part of his uniform. Yeah. You know? Like, easy there, little guy. Hey, you know, yeah. like, How does anybody enjoy any sleep in this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Oh, Dale, what are we going to do, young lady? This is Walker Beware time of day. All right, window of opportunity is closing. Hello, Miss Dale. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And Mr. Gator, I presume? Yep. Did you did he hear that other dog little dog yeah, barking over there? Like like, would you like it? There's some still some ice in here. It's almost well, I won't say frozen, but it's super, super cold. Yeah, How are you? Fine. I'll get him a cup before he was in a minute. I got a bowl. Okay, well that'll be fun. I got a bowl and some dog food. Hey. Um I didn't actually see him laying there because he's the same color as the yeah, dirt. I'm I'm laying it in. Yeah. How have things been? Fine. Um, you know, I didn't even see you sitting here. Yeah, eating day above ground is a good day. What's that? Is that eating day above ground is a good day? Yeah, well, that's, you gotta start somewhere. Yep. Thank you. All right. Well, what you okay. been doing today? You running around? Yeah, just a little bit. You know, I figured I'd get out a little later today as opposed to my early mornings. Yeah. Because I'm trying to find, have you seen a netta? She's just over here, honey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's good. I mean, she Lamar, lives Lamar. Down that store. Yeah, yeah, I know where she's at, but I don't want to walk up on her her place. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you what, are you hungry? I'm eat anything Okay. Well, let me get you a lunch, and um, I'll get uh, Mr. Gator here some a, a bag of food. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he, do you have a water for him? Yeah, right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. I'll get you another one. That's not going to last very long. Yeah. But, uh... You got two bowls of one and put food in one more? Yeah. Sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is gravy train, so you can you can mix. Yeah. You know, okay. but I'll get you two bowls. Okay, thank you. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. Be careful. As long as I make it back. Yeah. All right. The window is closing once again. All right. Uh-oh. Never a slow moment in this area. No. Okay, here you go. Well, here's a here's a bag of food. Yeah. And that though there there is two bowls there. Yeah, you gotta be right here. And here's an extra ice cold water. I'll set it up here, right behind your head. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, now. Here's your lunch. I'll set that over here. Your mom gave you things, huh? Now I got you some cigarettes. Oh, no, you take here. here. Yeah, they're uh they're actually cigars. Oh, but there's yeah. a pack of five. My friend Darlene sent these from Texas. Oh, yeah, I like cigars. Yeah, and I split them up. And there's a layer for you as well. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll just set them next to your... Let's we'll say you got a cigarette, yeah. cigarette pack there. Thanks, Daryl. No, you're totally welcome. How have things been? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm doing better. Okay. Yeah, I'm really we got several nice days of weather coming. I know, it's been gone. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting some chilly nights. Yeah. Um, I'm in the process of getting some some winter stuff set up, uh, blankets and you know yeah. that type of thing, uh, thermal socks. Oh yeah, that'd be good. yeah, kind of get you going. But, uh, good stuff. 
Boy, look at him go. Mr. Gator. Yeah, they're just paper bowls. Oh, yeah, they don't matter. Yeah. I'm gonna get the garbage up. All right. Well, do you need anything? Nah, not really. No? Nah, I'm pretty good right now, thank you. So everything's going, I guess, as good as it could be? Yeah. I woke up in days, so it was a good day, I guess. Yeah. Hi, Gator. <laughs> That's a beautiful dog. It really is. Yeah, that guy, I went to school with him. That guy, he had 15 puppies. And I don't understand how a mom dog can feed that many, you know? 15 puppies? Yeah, 15 of these, yeah. Wow. Is it get one of them turned dog and turned dog shit? That's a lot of mouths to feed. Yeah, mama put back in here, she get ready. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, fifteen of them. Okay. Puppies are warm. He's the only one to come up to me, so I took him. All right. Thank you. So everything else is all right then? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go talk to Lamar down the street here. The barefooted one. Yeah, he's he barefooted. I can't do it. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really believe in socks. Well, or shoes. Or shoes. Yeah. yeah. But that's year round. Yeah. You know, that's that's how it goes. All right. He loves to see you. He loves here. Here, catch you. Oh, you ain't gonna eat them. He said he prefers Doritos. Cool Ranch. Hmm. Oh, that's hmm. my weakness. I love Cool Ranch. Thank you, girl. You're welcome. All right. Well, I'm just making a, you know, my normal stops. I got to head in the downtown and check on a couple other things. But uh, thought I'd thought I'd stop by and set you up. Thank you, Bob. People are beeping at me. Yeah. Probably because I haven't voted yet. Uh, so, well, God. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. Yeah, that's a mess all in itself. <laughs> all right. Well, you be careful. I will. Thank you, baby. All right. I'll come by in a few days and check on you guys. Uh, thanks. All right. You're welcome. Another uh, traditional. Uh, I guess you could say resident of the Walmart parking lot is Mr. Lamar. Looks like he's ready for the beach. Barefooted. Shorts. I mean, we're not even talking sandals, guys. It is almost 80 degrees, though. Can't blame him there. What are you doing, man? Same, yeah. Yep. What do you got going on? Um. I see you got the handle. Yeah. That makes it a little easier. Yeah, it does. When I get to hold it like this, I just hold it like this. Right. You know what you should do? Make a necklace and hang it around your neck. Yeah. Get a piece of a string or something. There's a hope, hope. Is that your friends? Huh? Is that your friends? Uh, uh, yeah. So. Well, I can already see you're ready to vacate. That's a good thing. Come on over to the car. I got something for you. Oh, yeah. This is our window. Barefoot Lamar. <laughs> I made a, you know, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago, whenever I saw you a couple times ago, you know, and I said, uh, you know, about the socks and shoes, and the, some lady yelled at me on the YouTube and said, why don't you give me shoes and socks? And well, I would, but they, would, they wouldn't be used. You know? <laughs> so you're the only guy I know that can, well, well I guess never wear socks. Yeah. yeah, when I was a baby, mom said when she brought me home from the hospital, and I got older, mom said I would pull my socks off and throw them in the trash. Really? Because I didn't like wearing socks. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, I will say this. I wear shorts year-round. It doesn't matter if it's it 10 degrees it. out. Yeah, I mean, I'm a shorts guy. I think I wore them as an embryo. You know, that was my thing. What, uh, have you talked to Annetta by chance? Uh, I did, I have, and uh, she's gone to a friend's house, uh, Francis. Uh, oh, Francis, yeah, I know Francis. Yeah, you know, she's got cancer and stuff. She, she just got out of the hospital. Wow. Yeah, and I don't reckon she's doing good. No. Do you know where they live? Uh, you know, right up here at the red light where CVS is at? Yeah. You turn right there at the red light, yeah. go all the way through, you know, with the Mexican bakery? Yeah. Past the Mexican bakery, and then there's a, 
a little white gas station, an old looking tiny gas station is on it, the left. Okay. Uh, is it a is it a like a smoke shop now where they sell CBD and that type? You, you passed here. You okay. Passed it. It, it's a white park. It's, it's got a chain link fence. There's like a house sitting there. Okay. There's some parking. Well, I'm not going to go and invade their their thing. I know Francis. Boy, oh boy, she's got cancer. Yeah. My. She's had it for a while. They say. That's horrible. Would you prefer a mountain lightning or a Dr. Thunder today? Uh, Dr. Thunder. Dr. Thunder? Here are you going, young man? <laughs> I just can't get over the bare feet. I know. But hey, it's 80 degrees out. What can you do? Right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like a day at the beach. Looks like you're ready for the beach. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay. Everything been all right? You know, the camp okay? Yeah, I think I'm going to move from there. It's just yeah. Because there are new people that's moving in over there. Oh, yeah? And it's just it's too much drama. Makes you worry. Yeah. yeah, and I just don't. Maybe I just be by myself, or maybe just one or two people. But sure. Over there, it's just way too many, and yeah. I don't know, it scares me sometimes. Yeah. Well, you almost feel uh, it's like you against the world. Yeah. You know, so to speak. Well, I can't blame you there, sir. All right. Well, let me get you lunch. You prefer Doritos or uh, regular like Ruffles? Uh, Doritos. Doritos. Here you go, young man. Thank you. It's like, how you don't want supplies? Uh, I guess so, so. I need some uh, more wipes. You need some body wipes? Yes. I can set you up. That is something I do have. Hey, I got something I want you to try, man. This is pretty cool. My friend Doreen sent these. Okay. It's a shampoo cap. All right. Now, um, it's got, you, you just tear off the top, and it's pre it's pre ready. Now this is a rinseless, water free system. You put it on your head. It's like a cap. It fits over your hair. You rub it in, and then you can towel dry it, air dry it, but it, it, you don't need water. It's a it's called a, a showerless you know water or shampoo cap. Right. And it's really pretty cool. You know, and that'll help you out. You know, some people don't like, uh, you know, if their hair's, you know, maybe dirty or not feeling. Right. No, my hair feels like <laughs> steel and everything. <laughs> um, you need a bag? Well, I have this one. Yeah. That's different than the other two that you have. Yeah, because, you know, the that one, you know, when I got robbed, the camouflage one. Right. It got stolen then. I felt this one. Uh, on the side of the road. I was walking down Walnut Avenue. Well, I mean, just like a couple days ago, you had two different bags all together. Yeah, yeah. And then I found this one, which I still got those two bags. Okay. But I found this one uh, on the side of the road, so I thought, and I waited, you know, for a couple of hours before I got it to make sure it wasn't nobody's, and I right. went back that night, and it was still there, so I got it. Okay. You got room, is there room in that bag for the stuff that you got? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got plenty of room. All right. Well, let it, Annette know I got something for her. I need to, I need yeah, to find I her. I told her, and, huh. but you know how Annette Well, it's a matter of timing, you know. She could be here at 7 o'clock. I've, I've tried different hours of the day. You know, I come here early morning, come here at lunch, come here. Well, now it's four past 4 o'clock oh. now, you know. <laughs> that guy just drove over to curb. Yeah. Nice. All right. Anyways. Good to see you, man. You too. All right. But everything else all right? Yeah. You've got that pepper spray? Yeah. Where is it? It's in my bag. Okay. Oh, yeah. I still got it. It's probably not going to do you a lot of good if you got to look for it in your bag. When I'm out here, you know, I keep it in my bag close by. Yeah. But, like, if I'm walking, it stays in my pocket. Okay. Good. Good. That's a great idea. Fantastic. All righty. Well, I just met up with Dale while she's gone now. There's a... a well... She's over there eating. Yeah, I got her lunch too. Um, I was gonna say there's a bucket there if you want to bring that, but you'll get in trouble. Okay. That pallet you had's gone. Oh no, I was looking at this curb. Oh, not the one in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys had a little chair sitting over there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Um, I guess I'm just checking in to see how you're doing. So, I'm making it. Yeah. Well, what are your plans? I mean, like, you know... You, uh, I'm hoping getting off the street before it gets too cold. I, I say, uh, you think you can handle another winter out here? 
No, because the last winter we had, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. And plus, since I got older tuned and I had the car wreck back in 2014, so it messed my back up. So oh. when it gets real cold, my back locks up on me, and I had, I'll be in bed for like weeks and weeks at a time. And it doesn't help that you're allergic to socks and shoes. No. You know, that's not going to help in the wintertime. No. Uh, just for your future knowledge base, I'm going to have some thermal socks, but I don't know why I'm telling you. I'm just saying, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures sometimes when it gets to be, you know, 10 degrees. Right. But, um, all right, man. Well, hey, good to see you. You too. All right. Well, be safe, man. All right. That's all I ask. All right. you know, uh, I guess try to be as much as possible. Yeah. Well, grab a shady spot and maybe get something to eat. Okay. Do you know this woman over here standing mm -hmm. all alone right there? No. Okay. I think she's a new one. Yeah, she looks a little bit apprehensive. I'm going to go speak with her and see if I can introduce myself. Yes. And uh, I'm going to grab a water. All right, Lamar, I'll talk to you, man. Right, you. Now, that dog will eat your face off. Be careful. Okay, guys, this is a brand new person. To be honest, she looks like my aunt. My mom's sister her name is Betty I swear in her late 40s early 50s they could be twin sisters I'm just waiting for a window here to get across man this is this is a dangerous this is a dangerous deal he almost can't win I seen you standing there for 20 minutes would you like a water young lady yeah thank you so much um do you need some food are you hungry um I got some made lunches. Okay, that'd be good. Okay. Um, I stay with a friend of mine. I'm, I've been waiting on my disability yeah. for six years. I haven't had an income in six years. And I'm just, I'm going through it. And my friend dropped me off. She bought me a phone card. So I'm waiting for someone, another friend to come pick me up. Because okay. I don't have a vehicle. I, I just, I have a lot. Like I said, I got rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, I was going to say, you got uh, one yeah. of those uh, knee braces on. I've got so much wrong with my back. I got severe carpal tunnel. So I can't work oh, no. at all. So um, I'm just standing here waiting for a friend. I hope to gosh she comes. Do you know this guy? No. This is Mike. Hi. Hey. How are you? That's all right. Yeah, same here. So, four. <laughs> can I ask your name? Jodine. Jodine. I'm, my name is Daryl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, this is what I do. You can ask Mike. I just, uh, you know, I'm here, you know, a few days a week. I'm trying to help people out. Everybody call me Mike, but yeah. used to, but everybody call me Hammerhead. <laughs> A man of many names. Nickname. But uh, how okay. you doing, Michael? Are you hungry? You want a lunch? Hello. Yeah. Okay. I still got a piece of sub at the B. Okay. Okay. Where are you at? I'm right. here right by the McDonald's. I'm right out here on the street. Past the McDonald's. <laughs> well, if you want, come on over to the car. All right, sweet. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. That was his car. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Okay. You gotta, you gotta have your head on a swiveler. Somebody be riding right here and they'll be like, "Damn, my clock's going to work." Oh no! They do shit like that right here. Oh, y'all can come over here. Oh, okay. All right. They, man, they gonna stop. No, they won't stop. They well, stop. I guess they do. They have to. They have to ride away. I'll make them stop. Some people are just mean. Hey, don't my bike up this is a little guy. What is wrong? What is wrong? Isn't that serious? He's, Isn't that serious? He's just angry. He need a bone or something? Don't be angry, dog. What is wrong? Safety level, my boss. Would you like Doritos or Ruffles? Ruffles. Ruffles? Okay. Yeah. There's a peanut butter and jelly in there. Okay. Uh, a Kool Aid pack. Thank you. Got you a water. Yeah. Here, here you go, Mike. Would you would you guys like a soft drink? I have some uh, like a Doctor Thunder or a Mountain Lightning. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll yeah, Mountain Lightning. What would you lightning. like? Mountain Lightning. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, I think I only got the one Mountain. Oh, but I'll I take the Doctor Thunder then. That'd be good. I'll take well, whichever. I'll take Doctor Thunder. Doctor. Give me Mountain Lightning. I'll take a Doctor yep. from the Mountain. It is one. No money. Okay. Good. Well, well, there you go. Just yeah. throw yours on the ground, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look to see how ungrateful he is. <laughs> 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 no, I've known him for. Don't me. <laughs> it's it's been going a while, uh, you know. Don't me hard. What do you think, Mike? About a year? What? Since I first met you? Yep. Roughly. We uh, know. First time. Yeah. Yeah. He, he thought I was police. 
<laughs> you know, because of my camera and stuff. There's a bunch of people about 4 o'clock one morning over here. And yeah. As far as the dark tinted windows, uh, <laughs> five poles down there, took the cameras and stuff up. And then I see him about four or five days later, and I said, like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. He, maybe I was sitting in my surveillance vehicle. Somebody yeah. looked at me and said, Oh, that's all right. <laughs> No, that's What's cool. Well, they're oh, trying to do fish for me in for uh, giving me a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Try to find her one bullet? <laughs> <laughs> Death by cop. Yeah. <laughs> Suicide by cop is the. That's right. I see them walking around. They'll stop. They'll stop. They'll stop. They'll stop to a telephone pole. Like, well, I know it. Uh, I'll tell him when I see him. <laughs> oh, I've I've oh, seen it a couple times. I have my thoughts on whether to approach those particular people sometimes I think because a lot of times they're playing. Well, I think a lot of people are mean. I'm I sorry. Did dope I have been dealing I with some. Dope off I had people tell me, well, all guys, if you want to stay here, you have to do right. that. I'm like, are you serious? I've never, I've, never, right. I've had money in place. I've never done anyone right. that way. I never. I've been dope off do me that all way? my life, and that shit's never done that shit to me. Yeah. Well, I ain't done it all. You know, if if they're if they're if they're fighting some, you know, mm -hmm. mental disability, it's, yeah, I mean, it could be a, a, from a number of things, yeah. you know, it I really could. I got PTSD and high anxiety. I mean, really? I got medicine they for it. They can go right down here to that smoke shop and uh, buy some uh, weed. It's 57% uh, pure THC, big old buds. Wow. I don't want to murder blow me And up. then fail your drug test at the probation department. <laughs> I know a guy that got a, a vapor. I was on parole. Like, I literally, li I put this on the Bible. I literally went to prison for someone else's charge. I, wow. All because I got a ride from someone. I became a dope dealer. I th what? I just caught a ride. Guarant guilty by association. I just so, um, blame for these, but I was uh, on girls, parole, but I failed five. six drug tests for marijuana. They didn't do nothing to me. They put me in classes. No, no, it's just the other stuff they're worried about. The people be on that crap. Oh. Yeah. They throw their heart on that fence and all and track it down on it. Hell, I can tell. Yeah, I know. I love people I knew a lot of people that died from that. That's more, a shame. They're more worried about riding around out here trying to get somebody to Here she up. comes. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It was great to meet you. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. And it was good to meet you. Okay. You okay? I'm all right. Here. They're more worried about riding around than uh, <laughs> catching somebody with a piece of a joint. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But okay. again, yes. Thank well, you so much. Well, go ahead and get your phone card set up so you have phone oh, service. Oh, I did. Yeah. I already did. Yeah. Okay. Great. Is it okay if I stop and talk to you again? If I see you again? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Well, here's your friend. All right. Thank you so much. You have no, a No, you're day. very welcome. You too. All right. Thank you, dear. All right. Fantastic. Go buy some plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I never seen her before. No, I've never seen her either. She was just standing on that uh, that grass island, I guess you could say. One of the only safe spots in the parking lot, standing in the grass. I don't know, but we were in the first place. And they were just here five minutes ago. They stay here. <laughs> they stay. There's one Anchor. behind. There's one behind right now. Aggravating the hell out of people. Yeah. Well, I don't know. When they see me, they look at me and they're like, yeah, give you Sometimes you the... they want to follow me and sometimes they don't. What do you think of the 80 degree day now on the 40 degree morning? It's crazy. You know, just two days ago. Yeah. Like I told that Mexican, I said, today, mucho caliente. Tonight, too much mucho frío. <laughs> mucho Morning, frío. Mucho frío. So, yeah. <laughs> my hands. No down. bueno. <laughs> and my Mexican friend won. He said, hey, Michael, you want to go to Holly Creek with me and my son and take a shower? <laughs> go to Holly Creek and take a shower? Not right now, but. So well, wow. That's cool. Well, I well, guess. We never close on. Yeah. Just some shorts. Sure. So. Okay. How you doing on supplies, by the way? Somebody stole my bike the other day, and uh, my buddy that I got it from, old lady got it back, seen the boy, named Brian, got a nine hundred eight on him. Stole it from my farm. She got it back from the Dollar General store a few days ago. And I was eating dinner at Taco Bell the other day. And I got through eating, I went to the bathroom, my bike's still out there. And I go over and sit down and about those off about 10, 15 minutes because I was tired. I woke up, my boss was gone. Really? And before that, I seen a boy. He got ride. stolen at Taco Bell? Yeah. And I was sitting there watching it in the window. It was almost a hyper daylight and dark, but I seen a boy going down the road and he got off the bike and pushed across the road, then went on down the hill. And then I dozed off sleep for about 10, 15 minutes. Come back and gone. And my buddy I got it from, he found it. It was a. Uh, some blackhead boys said young down there at the bake shop. 
He said, you rubbed down that way and you look and see my bike, Lord. I mean, they, they, they probably need another chrome bike like this. Really. Is this the one that was stolen? Yeah. Okay. So, $473 well. plus tax policy. Got front disc brakes. It's a Mongoose D60, uh, 26 inch. Got disc brakes? On the front. Wow. And it's got uh, it's 21 speed push and put gears. That's a 26? 26 yeah. inch? Yeah. I got it in gear now. How's your tires? You need any air for your tires? Probably a little bit. I mean, I got a pump if you want to borrow it. It's all right right now. It's good? Okay. I come off of that thing over there and fill it a little bit. Boom, boom. All right. You well, know that guy sitting up there in the blue shirt? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that a couple other people. Yeah, I've talked to him many times. Oh, uh, that would be Lamar. Yep. Um, he's been attacked a few times. Poor guy. Yeah. He's flirting at me a couple times, I believe. It seemed like he did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I left. I guess you could say the, uh, you know, the streets that, are a lonely when place. When he starts talking about that gay stuff, I leave. Yeah. I mean, it says the Bible, he said, I think it says uh, gay people can't want to enter the gay standards. It says something about gay people. He don't like it, but he says something about it. Yeah. And he said that. He said, I, I can't help it. He told Dale, he said, I can't help it. What I do, he said, he said, I believe in God and all my heart and everything I love. He said, well, God's mad at me right now. He don't like what I'm doing, what I do. Huh. Well, you know, it's really not for me to decide per se. But could you use, uh, could you use some supplies? Well, my bag is on here, as I was gonna say. <laughs> I can't. I had a DeWalt charger. <laughs> Two tubes, two paste. Well, one tube and two paste because I gave somebody one that didn't have them. Two toothbrushes, brand new toothbrush holders, body wash, brand new. I was just going to do the other two things. Well, they're now starting to get it back. You got a brand new toothbrush right there. So you need some supplies? Or maybe some soap. Some soap? Okay. I can make that happen. Let's see what I can do for you. I appreciate it. I appreciate what you do. Just trying to do my share. And you don't have to. I, mean, I know you're doing it for the Lord. Come on over here, Mike. It bless you for it will, real good. It bless you for what you do. Check it out. Here's a couple of packs of body wipes. Unscented. Ooh. Do you need a bag? Yeah, I had one and all the zippers busted on it. Okay. Well, let's get you set up with a bag here. I got one. Yeah, you're yeah. familiar with these. It's, it's bold. If you want to, now here's a here's a bar of some Paul Mitchell, you know, soap. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got any wounds? You got any cuts and scratches? Well, my finger and dog bit me today. I'll tell you what. I get hurt all the time. I get cut places. Here's some antibiotic ointment packs. You know, mm -hmm. if you get some cuts and scratches. In your line of work, how you doing on a flashlight? You got a flashlight? No. Here Man. Bad. All right, this one's cool. Once you pop it open, it's brand spanking new. My buddy Mark sent these. The handle pops off and it's rechargeable. You know, you just pull the handle. There's a lever on there. Thank you. And uh, you know, no batteries it's required. In there too. In this coat yeah. too. Yeah, that's a, yeah. You're fresh out of the fridge. Okay. You know. That means a lot. Gives somebody something to tell them to drink. Okay. You say you got a toothbrush, but you were running yeah, a little. Uh, how how you doing on toothpaste? A little over, probably got a little over a half a tube. A little over half? One of the big ones and then she gave me a little one. She gave me one of those. And how about that? That'll work. I had two like this and I give somebody one that didn't have none. I yeah. try to help people too, but they can. Okay. I'll give people my life before I'm done without. Hmm. I'll take the bag. Just because the Lord's going to do that he would provide for me. Man, I had to do what that voice in my head told me to do. How are you doing on socks, young man? Uh, this girl last night, she gave me one brand new pair, and the other pair I, I washed them. Yeah. I got a sock and uh, one matching set of socks, and uh, that one that girl gave me last month. Is it? Let me give you a couple pair real quick. I'm going to be getting some thermal stuff soon. Uh, it's cool. just not here yet. These are ankle socks. Yeah, these ones I got over like so. Well, today just happens to be 80 degrees, you know, so I guess there's no complaints there. Here you go, buddy.
The nice thing about these, you don't got to pair them up. You know, they're the same. I appreciate it. I still roll them up like you do in the prison. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I've been in prison a long time ago twice. I've been in 2017 and 18 at uh, Walker CI at the RSAT program. I did like eight months in jail setting the weight on the go to that uh, we can do good. program. <laughs> sit, in, sit in the county jail to wait to go to prison. Yeah. yeah, I got sentenced to nine months to RSAT and had to wait eight months, at least eight months, eight and a half months to get there. Walker CI. Wow. Walker County? Walk, yeah, Walker County, Walker CI. Yeah. Walker State Prison. It's a Christian based prison. Oh, wow. They got a big building there, like longest from here to Walmart. It's, they call it the metal shop. That's where they build all the prison beds and stuff like that. Huh. And the fire department's right beside it up there. Up the road just a little bit in the prison lot. And, and prisoners, they got a lot of time. And they wear state clothes. And they don't even got a fence around there. And they're on call all the time to wow. go fight a fire. And they don't have to give nobody permission or nothing. And they have to come back. I don't know how to get them to do that. Somebody got life sentences. And, that's, well, that's amazing. Yeah. They, they do that. They got to have somebody hiding somewhere to you. <laughs> Well, the you would guy, think. He said nobody yeah. don't watch us. Huh. We go take care of what we got to take care of. And well, I mean, let's face it. With today's technology, you run, they'll find you. You see all yeah. that stuff going on happening to uh, North Carolina. Well, other than the storm damages, it's flooding, it's flooding. I think all of them, all of North Carolina, even Murphy. Wow, it's like a leprechaun. All right, man. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. I'm gonna go downtown. I gotta do a couple things. Okay. Yeah, glad to see you again. It's like you. Uh, that you're still breathing and you didn't commit suicide. I feel like it. I set myself on fire. And put gas in my mouth and spit it out through the water right there. Caught the place on fire. And I beat it out. Oh, Michael, what are you doing, man? Keep it stuff to make me feel like that. Well. I told my brother today, I said, y'all keep on, keep on, there's something else stupid. He said, next time I'm gonna pour two gallons of gas on me and set myself on fire. That's crazy. Okay. Because they, I can try to get him to help me, and he, he won't do that. And he said, oh, we gotta be out of that place, but boy, man, and them living with us in Brittany, they won't help me and mama move, uh, get anything ready or. You want me to help you with this other part of the street? They ain't even trying to, trying to move out, they just moved in. And my mom and didn't pay the rent this time because they're moving in my Mexican buddy's uh, mini house. Oh, yeah. From uh, Payne's Exterminating in the Bahos. I didn't know Payne's had places. Yeah, they got uh, three houses over in Murray County beside those dollar store. Oh, really? You go to the end of uh, Tisbury Road and shoot straight across 225 and cut down Am Street. Yeah. You know what I'm Well, I know where uh, the old dollar store is. Yeah. Uh, they basically moved across the street. Yeah. You know. In the old, uh, yeah. And right beside the old dollar store, there's a uh, start the first house. And then another house, another house. The one okay. Tommy lives in, they got a Payne's Exterminating van in the backyard. I've seen that. And then I've seen it. Over, yeah. They got a Payne, I think a Payne. The grass is overgrowing it, isn't it? Yeah, we. Yeah, the yeah, van? We, we kept it cut, though, this time. Okay. When we moved there, they moved there. My yeah, it's been a few months since I saw it. I think one next door has got a truck that says, I think it says Payne's Exterminating. It's, it's total bad. It's been flipped and everything else. You know. Wow. Things happen to people like that. I mean, I ain't wished it on nobody, but when they do people Well, don't wrong, forget your drink, man. When they do people wrong, like they was on my mom and then the grass wasn't about that high. Okay. It's, a, it's an exterminating company, and I, I've seen damn bugs crawling around this thing. Wow. I've seen rat holes along with my foot one day. You would think if any uh, if any place would have not have an insect or a rodent problem, it would be an exterminating company's property. Yeah, Platinum. Yeah. You would think. Platinum. Yeah. Steve, uh, that owns Platinum Pest Control, is the best. Yeah. He comes and does for bugs. You can see no bugs no more. Yeah. I was working around them and with them one day, him and Sean Chapman. I don't know if you know Sean Chapman or not. I know uh, the, the Chapman a, funeral home. They was making yeah. a joke. He died. He had a heart attack. So, they was making a joke. Him and Steve was. Steve has truck parked there. Park there said uh, Platinum's Pest Control uh, License to Kill. Oh. And then John Chapman's been over there. I said, License to Kill? He said, Yeah, he said, uh, I got a license to kill them, and uh, Sean's got a uh, license to cremate them. He said, no, He said, Just joking. 
No, it just it kind of, I guess it goes hand in hand. They're in the opposite businesses. Yeah. Big dog. Wow, that's crazy. Sean Chapman, dude. Have you ever talked to him? I don't believe so. But uh, it's Sean Chapman Funeral Home. Yeah. yeah. In Chatsworth. Yeah. It's probably like 40 something. That's far too young. He wasn't too old. I mean, he, he dated. He liked 18 and 19 year old girls. 20 year old girls he dated all the time. Okay. You get with them. And I guess if you. Uh, you get with them and get another one. If you got the uh, ability to do so. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a prerogative. Maybe that's what killed them. Yeah. Hard yeah. to say. All right, buddy. We'll see you, buddy. Take it easy, man. Good yeah, I'm gonna head downtown. Get people wrong and people do bad stuff. It comes back on them. Oh, it will. My back. mom always told me it's like you steal the dime, you're gonna lose a quarter. It may and not happen today or tomorrow, but no, eventually. Some way, it, it, it's it's not a matter of if, it's when. I like got glass mirror I stepped on the road I carried from the bargain hunt three months ago. Now I ain't got nothing bad luck. This dog here, little guy, wants to meet you because it's very friendly. It doesn't bark at all. My luck, if it's raining outside, it might be getting hit with rain. I'm going to get hit with something else. I can't wait for this. <laughs> there he goes. No, I said, there he goes. He's back. Yeah. All right. I'll be honest, man. Today is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's amazing. All right, I got to back up carefully. And, uh, well, they're handing out all kinds of mixed lemonades and stuff. It's that powdered uh, Minute Maid pink lemonade. They just gave out two jugs of that. How cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna head down to a different part of town and we're gonna see what transpires, if anything. I'll be back. <laughs> 